I have a task that requires... I require a book. A uh, tome. What could be more harmless? I once kept the tome safe when the shadows were young. Now it's felt and it's laid bare for any fool with a library card. Looking for a book called the Nibble Nomicon. Know anything about it? You need a library card. But I can hardly hear you over this blasted bonded book club. No one is taking anything out until I can hear myself think. Night fight Alon of Loss read like a children's book. I mean, I barely descended into gibbering madness, and I read it twice. Oh, Bert, I, I didn't see you there. Oh, and you recovered my socket. How brave of you. Would you... Well, that's just the problem, isn't it? I didn't join an eldritch book club to not go mad in an all-consuming quest for forbidden knowledge. Well, that's your opinion. I happen to like it. All right, brothers. Settle down. Brother Alexios, what did you... Let's go around, huh? Excuse me! If you're... What did you say this egg? I never believe it, Gideon! I take it all back! Now I should warn you. Everyone who's ever checked that book out has met a terrible fate. Late fees! <laughs> Stop! 
I've been freezing my deckled edges off over here. Get me out of here before I get all moldy. It seems there are others who share my literary interests. Don't know about your dark business and dissuade them. Ah, my strength grows. Ah, is this our end? Yep. I Bye. 
mysteries of the Nibble Nomicon will soon be revealed. The vegan turducken, the eggplant homijon, the elder dip. Take it, and whatever you do, do not read it yourself. Now, swiftly, away to the librarian to check it out. Ah, oh, don't listen to that old stick in the mud. You can read me. Come on, open me up. Just check the table of contents real quick. Listen, between you and me, page 666, there is a recipe for fettuccine and demo gorgonzola. It is to die for. Literally. Do not be swayed by its charms, however zesty they may be. There's got to be something here, something real. Digestructing, implosion drives, new use stations, half measures propped on the crutch of science. The laws of this world are a prison, and somewhere in this library is the... Oh, excuse me, may I ask what it is you're reading? Hmm? Oh, um, Zwelker's Heresies of Glass. What? I thought all copies of Zwelker's heresies were destroyed in a tragic hot dog eating contest accident. Is it true that reading it shows you how you're going to die? I don't know. I haven't finished it. You can borrow it when I'm done, though. You must be new here. I'm Celeste. I'm Markov, warlock aspirant of the Ariad Choir, seventh scion of the... You know what? Just call me Mark. And yeah, I'm, uh, I'm new. Nice to meet you, Mark. What brings you into town? I'm looking for magic. Then we've got something in common. I got my book. No thanks to you. Just do your job and I'll be out of your hair. Oh, you found the book. Well, go on, give it here. Now, I'll just open it to stamp the date here, on the... Perfectly innocuous end page, and... What's this? Some kind of... recipe? Uh, I can... stop reading it! Oh! Ah, she... Stop this, they'll see it again. Ah.
shot tomorrow? Wonderful. Just leave it on the bar so that I may attempt one of its recipes. All right, but if you turn into a monster, I'll tear you apart tentacle by tentacle. No need to worry. I am quite proficient in such rituals. But what to make? Damned chowder? Too salty. Sugar-free sugar cookies? Too evil. Perhaps, <laughs> yes, of course. Xylorgos queso. For this recipe, I must summon the foulest, most profane substance known to the Nibblenomicon. Clotu, cilantro, nicto! Now, carefully transmit the final ingredient to the cauldron over the fireplace. I was in a cult myself once. Far too structured for my liking. And I eviscerate someone who doesn't... Yes, yes. With the case so complete, the townsfolk will be drawn to the lodge in droves. Of course, someone should taste it just to be sure. Believe me, I'd love to, really I would, but uh, it's not my cheat day, so no. <laughs> oh, no, no, not you, dear Vault Hunter. Simply feed a bowl to the Nibblenomicon. We shall see soon enough if the recipe was a success. 
any sense. Have you seen Mr. Torg lately? That is one savory beefcake. What? I'm in cage, not dead. Mm. Oh, that's... That's some of the best damn Xylurgus queso I have ever had. The cilantro perfectly overpowers and ruins any other redeeming flavors. It's so good, it makes me want to puke just to taste it again. <laughs> Sweet, savory success. I am most grateful for your assistance. to keep the mood light. I should cancel the weekly chanting circle meter. Fare thee well. The deposit does not cover incidentals. Be aware that the minibar is quite... <laughs> One of the best SDUs money can buy, so get to buying it. Now that you can carry more, you can buy more to carry. Funny how that works, huh? 
staring at it won't change the price, friend. Something's gotta change. This can't be how things are supposed to be. You can always use another gun. Quite helpless here. Oh, what I wouldn't give to go on a rousing adventure with you. If we don't destroy that monster's heart soon, I fear my very own heart might succumb to this sordid situation. Bullets and bombs. They were never going to last, those two. I can see it in Wainwright's heart. He knew he couldn't make his betrothed happy. At least this way, he will be part of something greater than himself. A love beyond anything he's ever known. If only you could see that. Don't get shot too much now. <sighs>
of my heart. <laughs> Oh, I could get used to this. They torture me. Oh, I'm waiting on the other side. Legend. All too easy. Archer's got a degree to pay off, but I pass those savings right to you. Best to quit that soon, or drink it, or whatever. Uh, what'd you buy again? Come see me again.
Hammerlock, I reached a dead end. There's some sort of hunting camp here. Ah, yes, I have read about the local hunting traditions. Do you see a horn nearby? Often we hunters use those to announce our arrival so we aren't mistaken for an animal. Give that horn a mighty blow. My warriors! Well done! Ha-ha! Enough chatter! We slash! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Help me up, will you? Come on, back in the fight. You are strong, Guido. Follow me. A fight to greet your guests, huh? I like your style, mister. How else can you know who you share your fire and your kaif with? Now, let us share tales over the flame. Time to feast. Just in time. I hope you're hungry, Guido. Feast. Nourish yourself for the next slash. I insist. You are my honored guest. Oh, well, that is a strange meat, but I feel powerful. <laughs> Kaif is strength, Guido. It is power! Now, what brings you to my camp? I'm climbing that cursed mountain to defeat evil. You journey to Nagul Lashai. That mountain is a place of corruption, of madness. You have bested me, Gaido. And so we are now friends. If the cursed mountain is your destination, then I will help you. The path to Nagul Nashai lies behind that mighty gate, but the ice that blocks it is unnatural. To melt it, we will need a very special kind of kaif, the kaif of the Wendigo. You must go to the cave. Known as Kasari Dabar, the dark and twisted home of the Wendigo. You will find it deep within the Cankerwood, across the frozen waters. This planet breeds rare and dangerous beasts. Back home, I was the region's tracker, but soon my quarry became predictable and unsatisfying. That is why I came here. No warrior can hunt the same quarry year after year, not without losing his edge. A hunter 
can never stop hunting. Get the fun shots for your gunshots at Dr. Z's portable clinic. Zed's meds, if you ain't buying, you're dying. Selling that, they'd have my license again. Leaving already? Your name rings familiar. You aren't the same royal tracker who slew the anti-hydra Sukna, are you? <laughs> now that was a slash! One monstrous head... ...and three beclawed bodies! All the realm feasted on Kaif that winter! I read all about that hunt in the quarterlies. Aster, I am impressed. You are a fearsome hunter. If you are the same, Havelock, Himovarus, the market queen. It is an honor for our paths to have crossed. We should hunt sometime. Together! Oh, yes, that would be delightful. Did it break a sweat? I am tuning! <laughs>
I'm unstoppable! Hand me, you thorny bushes of the devil! I do hope I'm not crashing your hunting party, but I was developing a terrible case of cabin fever. Well, shall we track down and kill this no doubt majestic creature together? You can see yourself out, I'm sure. Ask about our one-click buying plan. When your trigger goes click, it's time to buy. Support local business. Sell to Marcus. with a legendary creature? You know I'm in. That's the spirit. We hunt! Unleash this power! Is that it? I'm a freaking legend! You must pick up the trail of the Windigo. I've got you in my sights, Wendigo. Well done. Look at the size of these tracks. This Wendigo must be fearsome indeed. This way. This weekend, I did not expect to spend quite so much time watching after my demon-possessed soon-to-be hubby, but ah, such is life. Still, it is nice to get some fresh air. I do hope when he's all right. To be honest, I would be guilty leaving him at the lodge, but he's not much of a hunter. Not like I said, anyway. Oh, I love this. Fully energized! Stop struggling! It's 
on now. Fresh, we're getting closer. Vault Hunter? No, never mind. We should focus on hunting this fearsome Windigo. Got something to say, Hammerlock? I love Windows. I've never been more sure of anything in my life. It's me I find myself questioning. Winnie really needs someone at his side, but every nerve in my body was pulling me out of that lodge. It's all rather confusing. No matter, let us focus on the hunt. You see it now, don't you? His doubts echo the fears I see in Wainwright's heart. Their love is brittle, a delicate thing that cracks at the slightest pressure. So much power! Nothing to it. I love the smell of gunfire at whatever time of day or night it is. Well done. You've the eyes of a rack, but thankfully not the stench. This outpost is more fortified than others around here. But it seems they've pulled up the drawbridge. See if you can go around and lower it from the other side, Bolt Hunter. I shall stay up here and keep an eye out for predators at your flank.
My veins. Stay. Right there. Oh, -ho, an ambush. Two arms, Vault Hunter. More training. POI, I suppose. Get that gate open!
Not far now, Vault Hunter. Not far now. Come. Wish to go awaits. Yes, quite. in there. Let's go in. A rather large creature, isn't it? Or a busy one. Let us pause a moment. A hunter never goes in for the kill until he knows his quarry outside and in. In this case, in. Oh, yuck. Reminds me of the Partali slum yards. Ah, the odor of seared flesh. The Windigo must burn its prey to death before eating it. Fascinating. Perhaps we'll find its weakness if we keep searching. <coughs> ah, that one is mostly bones. The Windigo must feed on small <coughs> creatures and also something earthy. Now I glean the truth in the stench. If the Windigo cannot find smaller prey, it feeds on the mushrooms of the forest. <coughs> Our path becomes clear. <coughs> we will bait the Windigo first and then go in for the kill. First, Gisellium Avantis, <coughs> a rare and deadly paralytic. It won't kill a creature the size of the Windigo, but it should daze it enough to make it a fair sloss. Here. Now, to create an effective bait, we will need wolven meat and the juice of some local mushrooms. Meanwhile, I'll keep on the Windigo's trail and make sure the devil doesn't elude us. a set of hats.
Sadly, that recipe would only render the Wendigo nostalgic for its childhood. Hardly a combat advantage. Oh! 
your own whole little adventure going on, don't you? <laughs> Good for you. So, what's the update? So? I battled the wizard in a contest of wits atop the spire of racking despair. I lost horribly and he imprisoned me, but luckily, I still had Paul with me, so I busted out! But not before stealing an ancient scroll that says the pearl of ineffable knowledge is, and I quote, Waiting just beyond the veil in the wailing chasm of Tiktur Gamash. Well, looks like that's my cue. Gotta go! Splendid Vault Hunter. Could not imagine a better hunting partner. When he isn't one for hunting, he's blind in one eye, you know. But the good one, oh, looking into it sets my heart aflame. Nonetheless, we haven't a moment to lose. To the lair, Vault Hunter! I am the Grim. 
quietest. I stole this hunt. Quite the accomplished tracker, isn't he? Truth be told, I admire his free spirit, roaming the galaxy collecting. Creature, this will be no easy yeah. hunt. It's gone for the moment. What luck! Quickly now, give me the bait. <sighs> give me strength, Winnie. All I do, I do for you. The creature is coming. Here we go.
It. We've done it! Ah, look at those trophies! That must be the kaith! Grab them, Prysta! Wait, uh, so the balls are kaith? Oh, oh, okay, okay, whatever, just making sure. Vault Hunter, before we go, a word. About what I said earlier, about my confusion. When I laid eyes on the Windigo, I felt fear in my heart. But then I thought of Winnie, and I knew that nothing so pale and formless as fear could ever get in my way.
I first became a hunter because for as long as I can remember, I've always been searching for something. Now I see that I have found it, and I am no less the hunter for it. Now, I wish to be at Winnie's side. You have the trophies. Return with them to Eister. Good luck, Vault Hunter. store credit instead.
Lord Hunter. You know, I was thinking, the lodge is rather dark and drab. <laughs> well, it could use a little flare. Be a deer and hunt down some monstrosities for me. We'll mount their gruesome heads to the walls and give this lodge a more festive spirit. Ah, you're nearing an ice yeti. Hairier than Winnie and twice as angry in the morning. Be careful. Just be. How gruesome! That Yeti's head will really give the lodge that certain je ne sais quoi, though. I admit I don't know what that phrase means. So oh, well. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Already forgot about you.
us for your gunshots at Dr. Z's portable clinic. Feeling good. Moving on. They throw themselves. My veins. Much power. Yeah. Come on, I want a damn challenge. <laughs> Love an extra set of hands. of my time. <laughs> Weren't there more of you a second ago? Feels so good.
shoot more. Shop markers. Tired of wasting cash on respawns. Look no further. Come on back the next time you're dying. When you need a dose of the red stuff, come find me. Those tainted souls have never dared to slash with me before. Hmm. The black wind is blowing. I smell their putrid scent. The cult grows in power, fed by the monster itself. But there is something else in the air. Perhaps it is their fear, Guido, of you. Ha <laughs> ha! But what of the... What of the Wendigo? Got two big handfuls of kaif, still warm. Ha! Huh. Guido, you are not just a hunter, you are one of us now. We will use the Wendigo's fiery kaif to melt the ice that stands in your way. Place the kaif there, and you'll soon be back on the hunt. Such power! This is true kaif, Guido! Ha <laughs> ha! Beyond is the Cursed Mountain. They say the wind carries the voices of the past. Many have gone there, but none have come back. May you find that which you seek, Guido. I need something from you. How goes it, Guido? We should slash again! But first, I need something. There is a flower that grows on the mountaintop. Pluck this flower and return. To me. Then we slash! When I first arrived here, I thought I was the strongest creature on the planet. But I was wrong. Power is all around us. In the water and the air. In the trees and in the kaif of animals. And even in the petals of the mountain flowers. 
Beauty often hides strength, does it not?
tongue was spewing, but he is silenced for now. Strong, Guido. Follow me. <sighs> A hunter's legacy is his story. It's your job to make sure it's one. The power! I am strong! <clears throat> Fight me, Guido. I will not go so easy on you this time. Feel my you are courageous. Let us find out. Against me! Helping hand! Good slaps! I almost got you that time, Guido. Help me up, would you? We are still friends, are we not? Come on, back in the fight. Back to the slash! Well fought, Guido. 
I'll have to trade harder to keep up with you. <laughs> Help yourself to a weapon from my armory. <sighs> I must quaff something. Mushrooms worm through the earth and appear as no magic. They feed on beasts and plants alike. There is strength in the invisible, the hidden, those that wait beneath the land, waiting to consume. I've got something for that. Unleash this power!
See if you can find a way to punch through it. Not as elegant as punching, but this big hunk of security turret could do the trick. Ooh, good find. Like I said, those things need a lot of power. Make sure it'll actually work when we fire it up. Missing fuses. Okay, I got this. Uh, let me think. No fuse, no problem. If this place uses standard dull architecture, there should be another fuse in a redundant system nearby. Yes! Called it! Still need one more fuse, but I thought of a solution. Go find one of those electric bugs that live around here. Its heart should work as a fuse in a pinch. Improv, baby! <laughs>
big beastie over the town is some kind of escaped vault monster? <gasps> Man, this is the craziest <sighs> wedding ever! I'm over it. Good. Now listen up. Long ago, Captain Dyer led a dull research crew into this mountain. Soon the crew became possessed by madness. Captain Dyer sealed the evil infect in the crew. And as he felt his mind slip into the aforementioned madness, he transferred all of his memories to me. If I'm awake, it means the seal has broken. We cannot let Captain Dyer's valiant sacrifice be for nothing. We must reseal the cavern, 
Lest the previously stated madness escape, quickly now, dynamite! We need dynamite! Uh, do you see any? Crystals to crack. A massacre! Well, here's an echo log. Pick it up, chop chop, before the evil spreads, before the tendrils of madness slither into your mind. This place is extraordinary, yet the crew is in poor spirits. Crystal says they talk about me behind my back. How odd! I see no crystal in the ship's manifest. Hmm, perhaps my memory logs are corrupted. Keep going. <sighs>
shot first, but they're dead. I didn't tell the others. Crystal says it's for the best. How tragic the madness took them. But that's dire for you. When faced with a tough decision, the captain always put the mission first. a real creepy vibe from this whole crystal thing. You're right. The crew didn't go mad. It was dire. We have to destroy the crystal. Plug me into that computer console and I'll activate the mining equipment. It's working! I just need a little more time. <laughs> crystal! You'll never take Crystal! Never! It's Captain Dyer himself, and he's mad and evil! Defend yourself! Already forgot about you. Just kidding. <laughs> or am I? Ooh. 
Mids, Mods and Mids. I'll take anything off your hands sooner or later. to unleash this power. <laughs> this is so goddamn sublime. Much power! Right. 